general Q and A if we got time. Um, what are the software stacks that you're deploying? So the the biggest thing running on BSD is our caching software, which is uh, a C application. Um, then there's a bunch of maintenance software. On, uh, a lot of it's Perl. Uh, that, that does things like shipping logs off to be processed and, and other uh, configuration changes. Um, we do have some other stuff in the works. Um, trying to think, uh, most of it's C actually on our, our BSD edge. We don't, we don't have anything else going on at the moment. Sure, go ahead. Security, sensing, threat modeling? That's a, a very deep question, I think. So we've got, you know, the, the, the first thing is we want to keep our boxes patched. And as the BST team, we do a better job of this than anybody else because we've got this release process and we've got the Podrier stuff, um, or the, at least support stuff on our older systems right now. We can audit our systems for Vulns and, and make sure that they're patched. Uh, a lot of the monitoring stuff is, you know, uh, syslog, so we're getting those logs shipped off of the machines so they can't be tampered with uh, to central aggregation hosts. And then um, a lot of it's probably human right now, uh, but we do have tripwires and stuff in place with configuration management and, and with other systems. How do you manage keeping your OSs up to date? What are you guys doing? As far as deployment or... Yeah, so, so that's actually why we have this big feedback loop. We want to make that not such a big deal. Um, so we'll, we'll it, for instance, pull the MFS or whatever with the Vuln fix to our LL stable branch. We'll, we'll do a build, and then we'll re-image all of our machines. We don't, we don't use FreeBSD update or anything like that. It's all image-based for, for this stuff. Yeah, I didn't touch on it in the presentation, but we're using UFS on these machines because we're doing fail in place. Um, if you've ever seen one of the Netflix talks, our boxes look just like that. You know, we've got hard drives with single partitions, no RAID or anything. When one of those drops, we just leave it dead for a long time. Um, ZFS would be interesting for some other use cases where we, you know, if we start to, uh, moving some of our other applications onto FreeBSD. Um, and you know, I've used food environments. I think they're awesome. It saved, it saved me on my laptop from broken updates. So it does the same thing in, in those types of roles. Yes, so we're, all of these edge boxes are running dual stack. Um, I don't know a lot about, did Jason run out of here? Do you, are we using the, what's it, the route? How do they get their IPv6 address? Yeah, it's 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 per machine. It's actually a pretty small uh, ratio for us today, but we do support it. So, how are you actually uh, shipping your logs uh, for most of the devices? Uh, I think we use our syslog on on FreeBSD, and those are just going to aggregators in each of our pops. Um, I don't know what actually what happens after that. I'm not involved with those machines. It's just a line in our config that we get it off of them. Yeah, I don't I don't know off the top of my head. Anything else? Cool. Thank you guys.